Hey audience, so you can see here there's a Caesar's Legion flag or Kaiser's Legion flag to signify the Legion's involvement here in Nipton. Hi, I'm your Diplo Raptor. I'm back. Oh. And this, again, shows the fact that the Legion, they did lose a guy here because it seems some of the Nipton people did not necessarily acquiesce to the whole come out here to be murdered thing. Some of them realized something was up. And not in the events that they were going to be able to get out of this in a one piece. They realized something was going to kill them. Oh yeah, he's got the laser rifle and a water tick level one. You can see there's lottery tickets just all over the place. Just getting the Mojave Drive in so we can easily fast travel over here for the DLC. So the thing is, we <laughs> could. Hey, Jib, we're welcome back. Hey, thank you. So, audience, we could go up into these foothills. By the way, there's. So, each of the four major factions has a secret outpost that you can only get to with, you know. Not necessarily four major factions, but four factions each have a. Uh, what's, what's on ya? I don't know. There's nothing here. Danger. So basically, the NCR Just has spam. One. Yeah, here's the best way to find them. Just, like spin around and spam your vacuum. There mode. we go. There you go. They were just too far away earlier. I was about to say. Anyways, eat, um, so the followers of the apocalypse, the Legion, the NCR, and I forget who the last faction is. Each have a secret hideaway in the game somewhere that you can only unlock with a key that they give you when you have Fanatic or something with them. Basically, they super love you. Uh, the NCRs is, I forget, it's over there somewhere. The Legion one is up here. The Legion one, the only reason you ever want the Legion one, besides the fact that the Legion does have some major benefits to it, this is factual, though some people don't know it and don't want to acknowledge it because it is very Roman, um, which means it can be very effective, especially if Kaisar provides his power to somebody else and someone basically slaps them out of their... Uh, certain dumb actions they're doing. Uh, the yeah, the NCR is the ones over there. The followers of the Apocalypse one is actually the one that's uh, the most out in the open. That you can actually just wander into it by accident. And I forget what the last one is. But yeah, each of the bunkers has some... Uh, I don't think any of them really... I think each of them has one piece of unique gear at most. I think maybe the NCR... Sorry, the Legion one may be the only one actually with unique gear. Which the unique gear is sunglasses. I mean, they're really good sunglasses. What do they do? What do they do? They're yeah. sunglasses that give you plus one luck. That is super powerful. Oh, she's got a grenade launcher, that's what it is. Oh wow, I just crippled her in the head immediately and then shot it off. So, her teammates down the hill saw me, so I'm going to have to dynamite them. Uh, let's just take their ammo first. You know, they got a grenade rifle, I'll take that too. Alright, let's jerk the gunslinger. Oh, they got some nice stuff too. Uh, okay. Can I use the grenade rifle to fix my mercenary grenade rifle? No, I cannot. So then this is worthless to me. It's just taking up space and we don't really have space. Uh, well, no, no, that, that thing's got too much good repair in it. Yay! Okay. 
Yeah. Oh wow, we got 45 XP for one of them. Okay. We're just doing this, by the way, because it's effective. Look, we go. Because why not? We actually got them, wow. Holy sh... Yeah, the car exploded. I know, but I just didn't expect it immediately to explode. Like, from three sticks mm. of dynamite? Look, uh, man, three sticks of dynamite can be pretty effective. I mean, fair enough, yeah. Also, we're still in danger because there's some more guys. I, I love this ambush. It's such a cool thing. So they're, they're set up with grenade rifles, and they're going to shoot down at you as you come through here. But because my first time through, I came up and I was going over here. These guys started shooting at me, and I basically broke their ambush. So it's how I've always GG. done it now. There's also some more of them set up there, and there's more over there. But yeah, they're all set along here to ambush. Oh wow! I guess I got out of date. Okay. No 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 no. Let's get medicine up to thirty-five. Survival to thirty. Yeah, survival is fine where it is. Plus, I know where to go. Energy weapons. Medicine up to forty. Speech up to sixty. Okay. Actually, let's do this, this, oh, what's our explosives? Energy weapons up to 25, so it's there. And we have one point left. So... Oh, <laughs> the science book we got put us up to 45 science exactly, that's perfect. Oh, let's get our sneak up to 31. Good. Uh, lead belly, toughness, bloody mass, comprehension. We don't want comprehension, it's not really that worthwhile. Uh, in shining armor. Now that's a really good one because it gives us agility. Yeah, it gives us five percent crit chance when we're in light armor. Enemies have a twenty-five percent less crit chance against us. Uh, let's see. Uh, ferocious loyalty. We don't have the charisma for that. Okay, let us try that. Uh, hand loader, guns, sneak, commando. We're only level six. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Okay, move. Repair 45 and explosive 45 to get Mad Bomber. Okay, reduce the accuracy of your with one hand, guns and energy weapons while running or walking. Uh, not really worthwhile. Okay, uh, we want intense training. Because we want to. Hmm. Upgrade our agility for one. I'll make a sneak here. Uh, and let's see what our skills are now. Our skills are... Why are we taking negatives to ourselves? Let's see. Probably because we got an addiction at one point. Oh, no. It's because of the negative one for alcohol. Uh, but, yeah. There we go. Our sneak's 33. Spooks. I just wanted to get our agility up to 7. We're going to upgrade our endurance to 7 later on as well because we want to get our endurance up to 8 to get the GRX implant. It's a really good implant. It's an implant that lets us have turbo without it being addictive. Spook. Indeed. Spook. Now where are the other guys that are supposed to be ambushing me here? Also, there's some big horns up in these mountains, and it turns out big horns are actually kind of scary. Because they also have a knockdown attack, and knockdown attacks actually kind of suck because it knocks you into third person to show that you've been knocked down. Anyways, let's clear out the rest of these vipers to help protect the wasteland by clearing out dangerous raiders. Something like that. I mean, we're not going to loot them or anything, we're just doing this to help. Wow. I, we have to. F okay, they're not attacking us, so never mind. What is. Good vipers. Why? Why is nothing coming to murder us? Oh, by the way, here's Ulysses' farm. We were talking about that earlier. This is the guy that we're going to meet in the DLC's farm. See, wait, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Uh, it should trigger at some point the finding location. Come on, game. There we go. 
Wolfhorn Ranch. He's Ulysses Wolfhorn. That's his full name, Ulysses Wolfhorn. That's a really kind of awesome name. Uh, so yeah. yeah, there's some electrons in here. Uh, he's actually... Besides some of the other optional bosses, he actually probably is still the optional boss is the hardest one of them. Because he's a DLC guy. To be fair, you don't have to fight him. The other two you do have to fight if you decide to yeah. go fight them. Because, to be fair, you did make them into ghouls. <laughs> Turns out when you make someone into a ghoul, they don't like you anymore. What makes you think that? Hmm? I don't know. Sounds pretty fucking stupid to me. Well, there it is. Uh... He should be happy that... He was transformed into a ghoul. Well, I would never. Never be happy? I. Well, I never. That that quote. Oh, oh I thought That's you were going to say. You would. I. Well, I never. I'd be happy to be turned into an immortal killing machine that eventually would go mad because of radiation and kill people. Yes, that exact. Okay. Those are my exact words. So again, the game gives us a road that splits. So we can go this way, over to this, or we can go north to where we want to go, which is Vegas. And I'm just waiting for you to comment on the fact that, oh, no, our line wore off. I mean, why not just go to Vegas? Like, Actually, no, we need like a just metric ton of bottle caps, don't we? I mean, we've been saving them, to be fair. Or anyways, we're heading north because I only have another buff out. Who's dying in the background? No one's dying in the background. No one's dying. Oh, hey, there's some traders. Good, we can trade with them. Uh, hey, I think this is the same trader hey as last Need time. Anything? No, it's not. Oh, wait, no, it maybe sure. it is. Here's what I got. No, it's not. It just looks the same. Okay. Here's a pistol. And here's another pistol. And here's this bladed gauntlet. And here's some brass knuckles. And... The laser rifle or the laser pistol? Which do we want to sell? Plasma... Does he have anything we want to buy off him? Uh, not really, no. He's got a chainsaw ally frame if we want to make our chainsaw lighter. No comments, Jib? Mm, no, not really for the chainsaw. Just because I never really used melee weapons. Melee is the way to go. Except for the power fist. Oh, hey, just you know because what? I'm not no what we just need five rounds of that. Just don't worry about it. We just need five rounds of it. And we're gonna sell laser. Uh, we're gonna sell the plasma rifle, just to get us some room in our inventory. And <laughs> we have all these dog hides and all these coyote hides that don't cost any weight, so we're just carrying them around. Same with lottery tickets. We're just carrying money that's weightless. Yeah. I love that factor. Oh, Ant Nectar. Let's sell that. We don't need this. It's basically better slash worse alcohol. Thanks, man. Uh, so these guys are... I, I like this. If we can actually see it happen. Please let them be here. Please let them be here. Let's see around the corner. You guys should be... There they are. Hey. Degenerates like you belong on a cross. Belong in a museum. And there's a bright follower with a plasma rifle. Just lying there. Wow. So these guys are... Oh crap. So here's the thing. The Legion is trying to disrupt the NCR supply lines. 
So they're ambushing and killing traitors. So, yeah. We don't want to piss off the Legion just yet, so we're just going to let this play out and loot the winner. Or rather, the losers. Plus, I don't really care enough to help these guys. Yeah. It just gives us loot. Might as well. Oh, look, see, look, we've got a bunch of good loot out of this. And look at that, the Legion just wrecked these guys. And you wonder why the Legion is... This is why the Legion's actually kind of winning the battle right now, because they're... Their troops are much better trained. Also, look, they just leave the problem in here. <laughs> Which kind of is dumb, but at the same time it makes some amount of sense in that they don't want to be weighed down because they are just raiders right now. Well, they are just raiding more accurately. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there we go. And what would weigh them down? Uh, oh, we can't actually repair it with the leather armor that we just picked up. That's okay. Uh, we're just gonna keep moving. We got some grenades that we're gonna throw at some people eventually. But yeah, the Legion just are there. Uh, it's a great way to show off how it's war. This is war, so it's, you know, yeah, the Legion are technically the bad guys overall because they were made more bad guys as time went on. They went from being... And part of the thing is they are kind of, you know, they are a perversion of the Roman ideals. So, yeah. Ah, hold on. The phone rings. I have to answer it. Uh, mm -hmm. Because of the perversion of the Roman ideals, you get all these other things that are really interesting about their creationist characters. Oh, what's up there? What's trying to murder me? And the other thing is, you know, this is pointed out by several characters that have lived in the Legion territory. They don't have raiders in Legion. Legion doesn't have raiders. So, for all its faults, Legion is really good at keeping its interior clean of the problems that are plaguing the NCR. Also, we're not going up there because there's a death claw up there. I'm not, I'm not dumb. Or it's Castor or something. It's something that will murder the crap out of us being level 6. Like we are. No, 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 no. Someone's still yelling about the fact that we haven't done this. Just roaming this. Or... Yeah, but hey, we made it to the ranger station, Charlie. There's actually a quest to go to the various ranger stations, which we'll do later. Yay. And we're actually getting close to Novak, a.k.a. the house. Uh, our explosive skills have actually been really useful so far because they're decent explosives. Uh, oh, there, see, there, you can see it. Dino the dinosaur. Uh, Jib, I was talking about the fact that... Yeah, I remember Legion, that thing. Yeah, Legion doesn't... Uh, in Legion territory, you don't have to deal with um, raiders because the Legion is really good about stopping raiders. Unlike um, certain other factions, cough. NCR. Cough, cough, NCR, cough, cough. Uh, we need to eat one more pound of stuff. Uh, Let's eat that to get a bottle cap, and let's drink our one rat away. No, oh, wait, that's actually not a thing. Our one rat away. We're going to get into town so we can get a doctor to get a rat away off. Hmm. Oh, we're here. Novak. Nice. Already here. Nice. Indeed. Yay, Novak. No vacancy. See? Novak. 
Uh huh. There we go. And here's the doctor. Ada what Shouse. can I do for you? Uh, Good doctor. Can you heal my radiation? Are you sure? You won't be able to read in the dark as well. Yeah. Ah. Okay. I do love I that line. This doesn't help. Try taking a bath in tomato juice. That's pretty great. Yeah, it is pretty good. What can I do for you? I need medical supplies. Yeah, and I need sterile medical supplies. But let's see what I have with me. That's great. She's got some great lines, yeah. Anyways, we're going to sell this mainly broken 10 millimeter pistol to clear up some inventory space. Uh, we'll keep the plasma rifle now because we're finally here. And we'll sell this leather armor because why not? Uh, uh, yeah, I'll accept that. Bye. Thanks. See, we have 2,626 Later. caps or something. We got enough caps, is what I'm saying. Welcome to Novak, audience. It's actually a rather nice town, all things considered. There's a trader here, a sea trader, a merchant. But this is why the real reason we came to Novak. Uh, there she is. Everyone's favorite NPC. Well, welcome to you. You look tired from the road. Why don't you relax a spell? Let this fine town take care of you. We haven't met yet. Oh, what am I doing? I got to thinking about making a good impression and plain forgot to tell you my name. I'm Jeannie May. I take Jeannie care May of folks Crawford. at the motel, long as they aren't troublemakers. Well, I think that's a fine idea. I'll give you a good flat rate, and you can stay as long as you like. At least until the busy season comes. Sound good? I'm glad you can stay with us. Your room will be the one upstairs, closest to the lobby side. Here's your key. Let me know if there's anything I can do to make your stay better for you. Well, he might have been wearing a fancy outfit, but he wasn't any kind of gentleman to me. Oh my. Had his nose stuck so high in the air you couldn't see it above the clouds. City folk. They always think they deserve better than what they got. Those hoodlums he was with seemed to know Manny for some reason. He's our daytime sniper up in the dinosaur's mouth. Goodbye. Watch out for strangers. So, yeah. Manny's interesting. And, oh, yeah. We got this done. Uh, there we go. Let's go talk to Manny. Uh, dang, ramen's in the way. There's a lot going on here. We're not really worried about fighting, Jib. Because we're doing the whole, you know... Come on in. We're doing the whole being social. We're going to break into this eventually, by the way. There's a reason why we're going to do that. Hi, What's Manny. Going on, man? So, if we are a gay guy and we have the gay perk, we can talk to Manny. Because Manny is gay. I just wanted to note that. That's about it. Uh, sure, I know him. What do you... Yeah, something in mind. You talking about that chip? Man, I don't think he's giving it up. Well, listen, I can definitely help you find him, but I've got problems with my own. Necklace. Maybe we can do a trade. You need my help. There's something I need, too. Novak, it's home for me now. I want that to be for good. I like it here, and I've left too many homes behind. But the only resource we got here is junk. Without that, people wouldn't have anything to trade. They'd all have to leave. We get most of it up the road from the old rocket test site, but a bunch of ghouls showed up one day and took it over. We can't get in there now. Oh, why? What needs to be done? Well, they gotta go, or this will be a ghost town before long. It doesn't matter to me what you do. As long as the ghouls are out of there, that's good enough for me. It'd mean a lot to me. Goodbye. Yeah. Come yeah. fly with me, come fly, come fly. Away. And there we go. Uh, we're going to end this episode once I show off our new apartment. So the busy season never comes. For one reason or another. 
It may just be a joke because you're basically buying a room. This is our room now. It's really swanky duds that comes with a refrigerator with a bunch of booze already in it, which we can take because we own it. Comes with some nice clothing. Not the best toilet, not the best sink, but a first aid kit with a doctor's bag. So we've actually made back our money on this place already. There's a foot locker for storing stuff, a chest board for storing things, and a wardrobe for storing things, including getting us another bonnet. But more importantly, oh yeah, there's some dog meat set up here and some iguana bits, some dirty water. So you know, Jeannie Mae is real good about tooting her people right. As we can see here. Anyways, we're just going to store some of the stuff in here. Plasma rifle. Um, let's get rid of some other things. Uh, let's put our 10 millimeter pistol in here. We'll put the laser rifle in here. Jibs being quiet. We'll see you next time, audience, because this is our new house. We'll see you once we're out of it and finished organizing items.